opening skip, create a text object and change the font. I have selected super fonts since it's a very playful font. Change its color. I'll change it to a vibrant color. I'll rename the object as base. Now duplicate and rename it as base2. Duplicate it again and let's rename it as shadow. It a white color. Send the shadow backwards. Now right click and set mask. Now change the blur level and give it a vibrant color. Now you can see there's a light effect. The layer should be light, not shadow. Now duplicate the base layer. Duplicate it again. Rename it as base2. Duplicate it again. Now rename it as shadow. Now give it a slightly darker color. Hold Control, move it to the left. This is a text object now. We have to convert this into a path. So to convert it, go to select the text. Go to path, object to path, object ungroup and path union. Now this is a single object. Let's rename this as shadow. Do the same thing for the base too. Now these two are paths and not text objects anymore. Select both by holding shift. Now we are going to get the difference of both paths so that we can get the edges of the text. So select both and go to path difference. Now change the color. You can see we have the edge. Increase the blur. Now you can see if you increase the blur, the text blur goes outside the paste text. So to avoid that we have to mask it. To do that, duplicate the base. Now mask the shadow path to the base layer. Now when you increase the blur, it doesn't go outside of the text. You can give it a dark color. You can see there's a 3D effect because of the perceived shadow. Move the base layer to the bottom. Now you can see we have the light and the shadow layers. You can adjust the colors to a suitable level. You can experiment with the colors. Now draw a rectangle and send it backwards so that you can give a nice background. After a lot of experimentation with colors, I have landed with these colors. This is how you create a playful 3D live text in Inkscape. Hope you like this. Thanks for watching.